Hello to everyone watching this footage. It's Leviathan here again. And to start things off, I'm going to introduce myself to newcomers. I'm born high functioning autistic. I'm obsessed with fiction, and I'm planning to make my own creative universe like the late Stanley did. Hope you guys are having a decent December so far. For this video, I'm going to introduce three characters. Two of which you understand how they are because of the previous video that I recently made and such. You know? Let me start for you. Queen Titana. Real name, none. Height, 250 feet. Weight, 17,000 tons. Status hero in Queen of the Mega Fairies. Base, land of altered masses, Indian Ocean. Intelligence, four brains. Behavior, flirtatious and cheerful. She'll always protect her kind and others from Queen Demana and her demon fairies. Lethality. Lethal during a fight, though she's rarely angry. Weaknesses. She's intolerant to iron objects. Powers. She has the same powers as her people, along with wielding a single-edged golden sword in combat. Eyes olive green, hair golden and wavy. Origin. When the Land of Altered Masses was created, Queen Titana was the one who formed and had forever ruled over the heroic Mega Fairies. Whenever her counterpart, Queen Demana, was commanding her Demon Fairies to fight, Titana would always know how to deal with a problem. When Pym, Luck, and Centara arrived at the island, Titana told her people to trust them despite that they were outsiders. After their battle against the Demon Fairies, Queen Titana had made an oath to her kind that they will examine all their visitors before fighting them. Costume She wears the same clothes as her people. Teams Solitary, with her mega fairies, or other heroes. Original inspiration, fairies. Here's the next character, just so you know. Queen Demana Real name, none. Height, 250 feet, weight 17,000 tons. Status, villain and queen of the demon fairies. Base, land of altered masses, Indian Ocean. Intelligence, three brains. Behavior, savage and bloodthirsty. She'll stop at nothing to get herself and her kind feasting on any meat they could find. Lethality, as above. Weaknesses, she's intolerant to iron objects. Powers. She has the same powers as her people, although she is far more powerful and feral than the rest. Eyes deep black, hair deep black and ratty. Origin. Since the birth of the land of altered masses, Queen Demana was destined to spawn and rule over the demon fairies. While they wait for the barrier protecting Micropolis to dissipate, Demana, Demana would feast on the mega fairies as well as her own kind. When Pym, Luck, and Centara traveled to the island, Demana and her people tried to eat them. But after their battle against Queen Titana and her mega fairies, an outraged Queen Demana is sent searching for other meats outside their island. Costume. She wears the same clothes as her people. Teams, solitary, with her demon fairies, and other villains. What's inspiration? Fairies. This character is something that I was impressed with come to think of it when I was doing the editing for this video. So just keep that in mind of how prodigious this character would be. Spydra. Real name unknown. Height 12 feet, including legs. Weight 204 pounds. Status villain and expert mercenary. Base mobile. Intelligence 5 brains. Behavior. Sneaky and remorseless. She's willing to kill for money. Lethality. Extremely deadly. She could kill you without you knowing it. Weaknesses. Her eyes are her rep potential weak spots. Powers. She has eight spider legs that protrude from her back. She has eight black eyes that can see in all directions, at a great distance, and can see in complete darkness. She possesses some martial arts, wields a pair of retractable poison-filled daggers in her hands, and can project streams of an almost unbreakable silk from her palms. She is also skilled at finding her targets and can speak in almost any language. 
Eyes be black, hair light red and stubby. Origin Not a lot of people know who Spydra is or how she came into existence. The best theory is that she used to be a freelance mercenary who got experimented on to receive the deadly potential of a spider. Regardless, she is real and completely horrific. What we do know is that Spydra travels the planet to meet any who'd hire to kill her hire her to kill anyone they choose for the reward of money. Some stories include her trying to single-handedly eliminate the Blue Man Clan, but only succeeded to shut down, shut them down for a few months. Another's when Spydra tried to destroy Pym, but was stopped by the notorious Dark Pym, forcing her to flee. Despite everything, she'll do whatever it takes to get paid, even if it means the end of all life. Costume she wears a black jumpsuit that covers most of her body. Team, solitary, or with other villains. What's the inspiration? Spiders and mercenaries. I apologize if I, uh, seemed incoherent with that. I really hope it's translatable for you guys. You know? And, uh, hope you guys are having a decent, um, December and such. I had this radio since I first moved to Utah at sophomore year, and just recently did it get new batteries, you know? And I also tend to drink a lot of these uh, flavored waters. It's more tolerable to me than traditional water, which hope isn't a problem. You could say that this video is sponsored by this kind of brand, you know? Just trying to make things work. And you don't have to worry, there's no deadline when it comes to uh, the fan arts that I asked you guys to do in the previous video I've made. Or previous videos at all. Shouldn't be a concern. And if you guys want, you could like, subscribe, comment down below, and share if you want. You know how it is. I hope you guys have a fine Christmas day when the time is nigh, and until next time, in transmission.